Hey guys, it's Katie with Dashing Dish, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to clean and organize your clean eating baked goods and your spices. Now, I kinda of have everything in one section in my kitchen, as you can see, and that really helps me to save time in the kitchen because I don't have to put everything in my pantry and bring it back out in the kitchen. I just kinda of do all my prep work right on this little countertop here so I can pull things out as I need them. And I have everything in XO sealed containers, and that just keeps things fresh since a lot of times baked, uh, baking ingredients can sit on the shelf life for quite a while. I would say anywhere from six months up to a year. And so I just keep things nicely sealed and organized with labels. And I just bought some um, chalkboard labels that I got on Amazon that you can peel right off if you switch containers and what have you. And then I have this little twisty turny thing that I got on Amazon and that allows me to see all my spices or my extracts or things that I add to my baked goods. And then I have this adorable spice rack that I absolutely love from Pottery Barn. And the great thing about these little jars is um, I keep all my most used spices in this um, area is they just have a really wide top so that you can measure them out really easily for recipes. Now let's have a closer look inside of what I keep in my baking cabinet. Now here you can see I have some almond flour and of course some oat flour some coconut flour up there, peanut flour, and cocoa powder. Those are my most used flours. I do have also some old fashioned oats that I use in recipes or overnight oats a lot of times. But you can also use the old fashioned oats just to make your own oat flour. I also have some organic applesauce that I buy from Costco in large bulk amounts because I add it to recipes all the time. Baking powder and baking soda. Um, some protein powder that I have back there to add to a few different baked goods. And in this little turntable, what I have here is some of the extracts that I use in recipes like butter, almond extract, maple extract, vanilla extract, a little salt and pepper shaker for um, just if I'm seasoning something quick with a meal, um, like eggs or something. Um, the chili lime seasoning I use a lot in taco inspired dishes instead of making my own. Paprika. Um, unsweetened applesauce, um, everything but the bagel seasoning, obviously for my everything bagels, and for eggs and different dishes like that. Um, this is great chicken bouillon yang cubes instead of um, if you don't have chicken broth on hand. And, and then in my spice rack that I use, the more common spices are things like salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and cinnamon. And then on the bottom, um, onion powder, which I'm almost out of, chili powder, cumin, which is great for Mexican inspired dishes, um, garlic powder, minced onion, and parsley. And since we're on the topic of baking products, I thought I would share some of my favorite brands because I think that's equally important as what you use. And so Swerve is a current favorite of mine as far as sweeteners goes. Um, it's great for baking because it measures cup for cup for sugar and it is granulated and it tastes amazing. Um, and then I also love Pure, which is an organic stevia baking blend that I find on Amazon. I've always been a huge fan of sweet leaf drops and I use it in my coffee and my tea. They're very sweet so I don't use them for baking as much but just more individual basis. Also uh, for other sweeteners I enjoy and recommend are organic coconut sugar or uh, whole earth baking blend which is just basically a balance of raw sugar and stevia. And then I love Kirkland maple syrup which is organic and then of course, my favorite maple syrup, which is the Lacanto brand, um, and that's made with monk fruit sweetener. And then as far as flowers go, I love the gluten-free oat flowers that you buy already ground up because it just saves time and it's also a very fine ground. So it makes for a um, better texture in your baked goods. And then I love the Kirkland brand almond flour that's blanched because it's a great price and it also is found on Amazon as well as Costco. And then organic PB Fit powder, I love, um, I get that at Costco and on Amazon as well. Um, but really any brand of organic peanut butter flour I love. 
And then I am a huge fan of bone broth protein powder currently. I actually got into it when I was pregnant with Maddie and nursing her and it was recommended by my OB. And um, I still do love whey protein as well. So I hope that this was helpful to see how I lay out my baking staples and spices and how I kind of put things in my kitchen. And I hope it inspires you guys to start baking in a whole new way. You know, baking can really be fun, but also clean eating. And we have a ton of recipes for you guys to learn to start and get on a baking roll, even in a clean eating lifestyle. So go over to dashingdish.com and check those out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.